Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technology Advocacy here at Cohesity. And I'm Vic Camacho, Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. And today we want to talk to you about what's been top of mind for a lot of IT leaders. And that is having a better data security posture for your backups. Now today, you may already be replicating, backing up, doing tape and archival. But we've been told that that's not good enough. And so there's some challenges that come with having this old way of doing data recovery and backing up your data. And those challenges are many. And so, Teresa, can you talk to us about what those challenges are? Absolutely. So front and center, and I think top of mind for most organizations, are data disasters. Ransomware, for example, that's in the headlines all the time now. It's something that's happening ongoing. Above and beyond ransomware, there are potential for insider threats, um, as well as other um, accidental deletions that can happen, right? Things we're not expecting. Mm -hmm. The next challenge I want to talk about is true air gapping. So really today, the only way to get a true air gap is to leverage tape because there's a disconnect in that mm -hmm. network connectivity. But tape can be very slow to recover from. In my experiences, I would put in a request to get a tape brought back, brought back on site for a recovery, and sometimes the data set wasn't what was anticipated. Um, so first I had to wait for that to come on site the first time, learned it was wrong, and then had to put out another request. And so true air gapping can often be delayed by days um, to make sure you get that correct data set back. Mm -hmm. The next challenge revolves around um, just complicated setup as well as cost. So in terms of complication, we're oftentimes putting together something you could consider to be DIY, do it yourself. For example, you might be taking backups and archiving those off to another location, but you're missing that air gap because the, the connection is constant. And so when you think about even just that one scenario, it can get very costly because already we didn't meet our security needs mm -hmm. um, in that scenario. So we might be putting something else in place, which ultimately means that another challenge is we probably are deploying too many tools to accomplish all of that. You know, Vic, you talked about how organizations are leveraging archiving, tape, backups, and replication. Most of the time, that's with multiple third-party tools. So the challenges are real, mm -hmm. and um, we need a better way. So well, that seems very complicated. I mean, that many tools, it seems like that be inefficient, and you're not really realizing the cost value or the return on investment on some of those tools. For sure, for sure. So Cohesity has an offering that can really help with some of these challenges. Vic, do you want to talk through that? Thanks, Teresa. Yes. At Cohesity, we take a different approach. We employ an as-a-service data vault that we call Cohesity Fort Knox. Now, imagine, if you will, you have your, your data at your primary location and you're backing it up. Typically, that's all at the same location. You do this by creating your backup policies and then you do your, your nightly backups. Once that has happened, we vault the data to, to Fort Knox. And once it's in Fort Knox, it is completely immutable. Now, we do this by employing a rolling blackout window that creates a virtual air gap that strikes the balance between data security and agility. So now you have this data that's completely immutable, can't make any changes to it, right? It is separated. And from here, once the production area has been cleaned up of ransomware or any type of other cyber threats, you can then recover from Fort Knox directly to the primary data center or even to an alternate location, you decide what that is. So given this here, how do you think this would benefit folks that are experiencing these challenges? Yeah, so there are actually a lot of benefits that in our offering that offset these, these issues that we already started talking about. So the first one is ransomware detection. So we do ransomware detection and we do it at that primary backup location. So it makes sure that that vaulted copy is completely clean. The next benefit is around those SLAs. We talked about the challenges that tape um, 
offers us when it comes to the slowness of recovery. So in terms of the virtual air gap design and the fact that this is as a service, you're gonna be able to um, take advantage of much better SLAs for your business. Now, the next benefit, and I think this is one of the most important ones, is hardened security. When we think about improving our security posture, we definitely spent a lot of time here making sure you get uh, what you need. So first and foremost, everything we're doing with Fort Knox is done on Worm. Also, we have object lock. So if someone comes along and changes the backup and any policies tied to it, the previous protection vaults that have occurred are, are completely protected. They remain intact and cannot be changed. And then the last piece of this is access control. So you can take advantage of MFA as well as RBAC and quorum capabilities. So what I mean by that is no recovery can occur without an approval process mm -hmm. and there are a minimum of two people required for that. So basically, Vic, if you were to initiate a recovery, that would go off to uh, the approvers. They'd have to review it before anything happened and literally click approve. So a lot of extra hardened security that provides you value. And then lastly, simplicity. We offer a single solution, it's a single pane of glass on as a service um, to meet all of the security needs that organizations require today just because of the heightened needs of our world. That's pretty great. I mean, if I'm looking at this as an, if I'm looking at this as an IT leader, I'm reducing operation or increasing operational efficiency, reducing cost, and improving my security posture for all of my data. Mm -hmm.